So today we're going to take a look at using the Partech Leo and skinning a little bit of a larger type of object. So we've got a fiberglass sailboat here, and we've got Alex skinning this boat right behind me. So if you come in over here, we'll take a look at the measurement of this, but it's about 14 and a half feet in length. Uh, and then we'll take a width measurement. Uh, so you're looking at a relatively large object, and we're going to show you a couple of things about how to easily scan something like this. So 14 feet long, about almost right at five feet wide. And when scanning something like this, you can do it relatively efficiently for a couple of different reasons. Uh, so on this top surface, you can see we've got a lot of different texture information here, a lot of details, a lot of uh, little nuances and facets that allow the scanner to very quickly pick all that up and capture data. Uh, that information comes in two different ways. So first off, there's texture. So with a part like this, you've got different colors, different little nicks, dings, that sort of thing uh, that build up a texture file or the actual color of the part. And we can use that to track the system in 3D space. Uh, the other aspect of this is the geometry. So there's a lot of unique different shapes and curves and profiles on uh, the top side of this part it makes it really easy to scan. Now, we're also gonna scan the bottom section to show you how easily we can deal with a really long, smooth surface uh, and give you a good idea as to what type of time it will really take to do an entire scanning process from start to finish on a volume part like this. Uh, so the Leo is pretty cool in how it uh, tracks data because we're not just using the geometry and the texture as previously mentioned, uh, but there's also some motion sensing inside the system that allows it to track where you're moving in 3D space as you go uh, that makes the whole entire user experience a lot more fluid. And we'll have a, a screen capture up here as well so you can see this being scanned in real time. So you can see here we're going to do a real-time a screen capture of what it takes to scan this size object with the Leo. So we went ahead and started up the scanning system and you can see how easily that it tracks throughout our part. So we get this color map that's really useful for being able to understand the type of data that we're collecting and where we need to get more detail. So this color map acts as essentially a heat map showing if we're too close or too far away from certain areas on our part. Uh, so if there's areas that we want to capture a little bit more detail off of and make sure that we have good quality scan data, it gives us direct feedback to know how we need to move the device in order to do that. So we're just working our way from the front of the boat all the way towards the rear coming across the sides, making sure that we capture all of the data that we're looking for and maintaining a fair amount of overlapping data in each scan to ensure that we have plenty of good quality information to use off of this boat. And we'll just continue this process of moving side to side, looking at the various colors to see if there's areas that we want to touch up on and make sure that we have everything that we're looking for. So we're getting closer to the rear of the boat now, and you can see that this allows us uh, with Leo quite a really large depth of field. Uh, so we can really easily move towards uh, areas of the part that may be a little bit further away uh, than we would be able to capture on other devices, making it very simple and flexible to be able to come in and gather all of this information. And we'll just move towards the rear of the transom now. And you can see here in just a couple of minutes, we were able to capture a very large object in a relatively short amount of time with quite a lot of precision and accuracy as well. Uh, so we will include access to this particular file uh, so that anyone that wants to be able to play around and look at this file that was scanned here uh, will be able to do so. 
and we'll just finish getting the edge of this part here and working all the way around the surface. Make sure that we have the other side. And just like that, you can see that we've completed a full scan of this boat here with the Artec Leo. So uh, this system with its rapid rate of capture and its depth of field, as well as its field of view, makes it extremely easy to be able to come in and capture relatively large objects in a really short period of time.